Do you find yourself building custom green spaces in your city? Wouldn't it be nice if your sims actually utilized that green space? So something that's missing in City Skylines 2 that is available in City Skylines 1, introduced in DLC, to be fair, is the ability to put down custom park areas. So you can see here, I've actually built a little beach. And I've also built this little park, which I've dubbed Octopus Park. None of them have sims on them, or very few at least. And there's actually a workaround for this, if you open up the, up the developer tools. Which you're going to need to do anyway to build a green space like this. So, do a search for area, and you'll get some options. This option, called Park Area, acts a bit like a district as you draw it. So I'll draw that now on this beach area. And next, I'll draw the park area here on Octopus Park. And now we wait. While we wait, let me show you another common use for these developer tools, placing park lights. So if I open this back up, and if I just search for light, there are some park lights somewhere in here. Light pull park one, two, three, and four. Okay, so we've got a few options. Here's one, two, Three and four. I'm going to go with option number four, and I'm just going to place these light poles in these corners here. It looks like we're starting to get some sims to show up. I don't know if they're just walking through or hanging out. Get some snow. Ugh. go. Got some lights put down just in time for some dark. It'll be dark here any moment now. All right, have we gotten any stragglers over here? Nothing yet. Let me go see what's going on over at Octopus Park. Maybe we'll have better luck there. All right, as you can see, we have Sims now walking throughout this area, not on paths, which means they're actually treating it as a sort of a park area. Interestingly, there seems to be a bit of an issue where sometimes it looks like they're walk. Here it is. <laughs> they are underground. I am not sure what's up with that. But, <laughs> what is dude? So that's an interesting little, I don't know if that's a side effect of using the painting tools with the area and making this a park area, but we're now definitely getting Sims walking all the way throughout it instead of just on paths. So, it seems like this does work if you want to create a park area and get your people to just hang out on it a little bit or at the very least walk randomly through it. This is one way to do it. It doesn't look quite so dead. One thing I'm wondering if it's actually related to the snow. So I'll take a look at this again once 
all of the snow has melted and it's summer. Okay, it is now spring. And as you can see, we've got Sims still using the park just to kind of walk through it for the most part. But interestingly, this issue definitely persists. For some reason, they are halfway underground. I'm not sure what's up with that. <laughs> Sadly, nobody seems to really be using the benches or the tables. Although considering you can't even see Sims in the um, in-game placed parks, I guess I'm not particularly surprised by that. They clearly have some missing um, functionality as far as showing your Sims hanging out in the parks. Something that I miss a lot from the original game. I'm sure it'll get added, but we'll have to wait. Let's take a look at the beach. Still not getting a lot of activity here because again, nobody actually uses the tables, the chairs, the workout equipment, etc. Let's see if there's any Sims actually walking around right now. Uh, it doesn't look like it, unfortunately. Bump the speed up just a little bit. Go up to eight. I think we can get somebody to pop. Here we go. I mean, they're on the path, but it counts. Somebody using the park area. I'll take it. Anyway, just a little primer on how to potentially bring a little more life to custom built park areas. If that's your jam. If not, no worries. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much again for tuning in. And don't forget to check out some of the other Cities Skylines 2 tutorials and tips that I've posted. Let me leave you with this beautiful nighttime view of the beach. Y'all be good.